Okay, let's see how we get on. So, good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Free Association. Um, another, another live stream on TalkShoe. I'm getting quite into this uh, TalkShoe business. To the extent that I've I've neglected Podbean today, to to do my fourth, my third, or possibly fourth live stream on talk shoes so well, that's an interesting dynamic i'm going to need to go back to podbean tomorrow and maybe post what i recorded this afternoon so there'll be two shows tomorrow instead of one on podbean but one of them will be a talk show live stream so i'm trying to work out the the balance of the two and it's going to be, I'm going to have to do every other day. So I'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, talk to you, Tuesday, Thursday, Podbean, and then Saturday, Revolution Radio. And somewhere down the line, I've got to fit in Rumble as well. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I might have to do talk to you and Rumble at the same time. I don't know how easy it'll be to do. I'll have to work it out. Maybe I'll just do one 10 minute stream on TalkShoe and one 10 minute stream on Rumble instead of two. I don't know because it's there's only so much of, so much talking that I can do. There's a limited amount of uh, bandwidth in my head for talking usually. And it's rapidly approaching its limit when I when it comes to three three live streams in a day is about my limit. But uh, I was listening to the first half an hour of Eagle Flowers Show this evening on Rev Radio, and she was talking about chat room dynamics. And she's right to mention chat room dynamics because this is. A, chat room dynamics are interesting there's a, a phenomenon well it's a group dynamic but there's a phenomenon where people pick out a scapegoat and then pile on which is not a healthy dynamic uh, there's a dynamic where people become basically just become hateful and re resentful of everybody There's a dynamic where people play the victim, sometimes deliberately play the victim to provoke a response. It provokes a rescue response, usually. So that becomes a, dry, a drama triangle, a persecutor, a rescuer, a victim. That happens in chat rooms, it happens in text chat rooms and voice chat rooms and video chat rooms all of that that's normal human dynamics but it's interesting to watch and listen to it also happens in political campaigns it happens happening at the moment in the conservative party leadership campaign there's a there's a, the knives are out they're now down to two candidates liz truss and Rishi Sunak, which means that the the MPs have done their part, and now it goes to the Tory party membership, which is about two hundred thousand people. So it's two hundred thousand people that are choosing, selecting the Prime Minister of Great Britain, as opposed to. A normal election process which would be about 30 million people voting something like that i don't know the exact figure but it's somewhere around there i think so 200,000 v 30 million big difference so does a prime minister selected in that way legitimately have legitimately have a mandate to govern 
That's the question. Um, my answer, well, I think Nigel Farage's answer is constitutionally yes. So that's, he obviously knows the constitution more than I do, if we do have a constitution. He knows custom and practice. But if you were selected by 200,000 people, and then you're trying to impose policies that haven't been voted for by any, any large number of people in the country on the rest of the country, there has to be an argument that you've got to take your policies to the to the electorate ideally before you implement them so test it out ask for the, ask for permission what they'll do of course is they'll implement implement the the policies and then they'll go to the people and ask for a mandate to continue implementing the same policies that's what that's what will actually happen but uh, don't people say ask for forgiveness rather than permission that's the way the conservative party works and it's it's not a bad way to do things actually it's not a bad way to do things it's it's a necessary way sometimes All right, let's see how that's gone. I'm quite happy with it so far. It's probably enough, though. Thanks for listening, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. That's the last one tonight. It's twelve. It, it's twenty-two twenty-two, and that's enough for me.